the day of his baptism, Reverend Father Fulgens Jarugawa put on Christ, in the day of Christ's coming, we pray that he may be clothed with glory. With faith in Christ, therefore, we reverently bring the body of our brother, Gurujan Sabiarugaba, to be prayed for in this holy church in all human perfection. Let us pray, therefore, with confidence to God 
who gives life to all things, that we will raise, that he will raise up this mortal body of his beloved servant to perfection in the company of saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Give him eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on him forever. Amen. Finally then, we say this prayer as we pray. Father, into your hands we commend our brother, Trujens Biarugaba. We are confident that with all he, who have died in Christ, he will, be, he will be raised to life on the last day. And live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessing you gave him, making him your priest in the Church of Christ. In this life, you gave him all the gifts you wanted for him to show your Father the care for all of us, therefore, and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer, therefore, we come, we, we come here. We will come, our brother, full gents to paradise, and help us comfort each other. Help us be able to comfort his relatives who are here present with us. Those from his home, those from his area, Soroza, Shihi, and Kanungu district. Lord, hear our prayer therefore and help us comfort them with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our brother forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, to now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And as we enter the Holy Church, for this prayer, the Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
God is good. So I take this opportunity to welcome you. Now we are about to start. The bishop is already dressed and we are starting with the procession to the church.
your lordship, Bishop David Kamau, the auxiliary bishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, Father Angelo Betelli, the Pontifical Commissar of the Religious Missionary Institute of the Apostles of Jesus, Sister Jacinta Opondo, the members of the Commissariat, and the General Administration of the Religious Missionary Institute of the Apostles of Jesus, Father Isaiah Ajiri, the Regional Superior of the Apostles of Jesus Kenya Region and his Council, Father John Mary Moka, the Regional Superior of the Apostles of Jesus Uganda Region, Father Augustine Safari, the Parish Priest of Namasuba Parish, Kampala Archdiocese, who is also the parish mate of Father uh, Fulgens Jarugaba, who is laying before us here. Dear priests, religious brothers and sisters, the natural human family, and the relatives and friends of the late Father Fulgens Jarugaba. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, good morning. God is good. I ask that we take our seats. And I will come in very much to this, um, this celebration of um, the life of Father Fulgens Bialugaba. We are gathered here to pray for and bid farewell to our brother and priest who has been called to the Lord in completion of his earthly journey. We are saddened by his death, but we are greatly consoled by our faith in the resurrection. The psalmist tells us, It is worthy in the eyes of the Lord the death of his faithful ones. Let us therefore join together to celebrate the life of our brother and father in great faith. At this juncture, I will come our Secretary General to read the eulogy. Your Lordship, Right Reverend David Kamau, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, Reverend Father Angelo Betelli, the Pontifical Commissary and the Commissariat, Reverend Father Zaya Ajiri, and Father John Mary Moka, Regional Superiors, respectively, of Kenya and Uganda, the clergy. all mourners and the lay faithful. The eulogy of the late Reverend Father Fulgens Biarugaba, A.J. Family background. The late Reverend Father Fulgens Biarugaba was born on the 10th of January 1951 at Chihihi village Rosoroza Subcounty, Kanungu District in Uganda. The late was a parishioner of Nyamwega Bira Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Kabale in Uganda. His parents are Mr. Jeremiah Tibigambwa and Mrs. Sekondina Bagashasha, both Christian parents. Baptism and Confirmation On the 19th of December 1951, the late Father Fulgens received the Sacrament of Baptism at Makiro Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Kabale. And on the 16th of January 1964, he received the Sacrament of Confirmation in the same parish. Primary and secondary education. 
the late Father Fulgens studied primary education during the years 1960 to 1966 at St. Peter's Katete Primary School in Kandungu District and obtained the primary, Uganda Primary Living Certificate. The late also studied ordinary secondary education during the years 1966 to 1970 at St. Paul's Seminary Rusorosa in the Catholic Diocese of Kabale, Uganda and obtained the Uganda Certificate of Education. Religious and priestly formation. After secondary education, for the full gen religious vows on the 8th of December 1981. After the novitiate, the late Father Fulgens studied philosophy at the Apostles of Jesus Philosophical Major Seminary at Langata, Nairobi during the years 1981 to 1984 and obtained diploma in philosophy and religious studies. The late then proceeded to study theology during the years 1984 to 1988 at the Apostles of Jesus Theological at Langata, Nairobi and obtained a diploma in sacred theology. The late Father Fulgens took perpetual vows on the 22nd of August 1987 he was ordained a deacon on the 6th of December 1987 at Langata, Nairobi by Right Reverend Silas Njiru, who at the time was the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Meru, Kenya. Thereafter, he was ordained a priest on the 4th of December 1988 at Bukinda Parish by the late Reverend, Right Reverend Barnabas Haleimana, who at the time was the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Kabale, Uganda. Appointments and pastoral work. After ordination to priesthood, and in the year 1989, the late Father Fulgens was appointed the assistant parish priest at Nakaseke Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Kasana Luero in Uganda. The late Father Fulgens was then transferred to Eldoro Parish in the Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa, Kenya, and served as an assistant parish priest and later as the parish priest for the years 1990 to 1996. From the year 1997 to 1999, the late Father Fulgens served as the parish priest of St. Michael Sirari Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Mosoma in Tanzania. From the year 2000 to 2004, the late was the in charge of the Apostles of Jesus Mazoldi House at Sambia, Kampala, in the Catholic Diocese of Kampala, Uganda. While at Sambia, he undertook studies in business administration in Kampala College of Business and obtained a certificate in business administration. From the years 2005 to 2007, the late was appointed the parish priest of Kibirichia Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Meru, Kenya. In the same year, 2007, 
the late also took time to study at Embul Bull Education Counseling Center at Ngong, Kenya and obtained a certificate in the theory and practice of basic counseling skills. From the year 2007 to 2016, the late was appointed and as well served as the chaplain at St. Mary's Mission Hospital at Utiende, Nairobi, Kenya. During these years, he also undertook to study and obtained a diploma in psychological counseling at Tangaza University College, an affiliate of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa here at Langata. His illness and demise. From the year 2017 to this year 2023, the late became resident first at the Generalate at Mazoldi House Karen and later at St. Joseph Divine Providence House here at Langata, from here from where he was undergoing medical treatment and observation. Sadly, the late Father Fulgens passed on on Tuesday the seventeenth of october twenty twenty three at Mater Misericordia Hospital in Nairobi, Kenya. Medical report indicates that Father Fulgens had multiple medical conditions. The immediate cause of the death of the late Father Fulgens is cardiorespiratory arrest. After this funeral mass here at the shrine, the late will be laid to rest in the Apostles of Jesus Divine Mercy Cemetery here at Langata, Nairobi, Kenya. Tribute. At the time of death, the late Father Fulgens was 72 years old. He is the 66th member of the Institute of the Apostles of Jesus. He was a professed member of the Apostles of Jesus for 42 years and served as a Catholic priest for 35 years. He was kind and social. He loved associating with everyone and he loved his priestly and religious vocation. We give thanks to God for the life and service of the late Father Fulgens in the church through the Institute of the Apostles of Jesus. We thank his parents and the family who offered him to our institute and to the church. Father Fulgens joins his beloved parents in heaven while some of his relatives and friends are here for the funeral. May I ask the relatives and friends to stand for recognition. Thank you. You can take your seats. Father Fulgens Biarugaba, your brothers, the apostles of Jesus, and all the faithful you ministered to, represented by those gathered here and in the company of your family members and friends, fare thee well. May you rest in eternal peace. Amen. Thank you very much, Father. At this juncture, I now welcome His Lordship to lead us in this celebration.
starting by placing of the Christian symbols on the coffin. Welcome, Your Lord. In the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. In life, the Fujian Church, the Gospel of Christ, make Christ now greet him with this word of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Fujians receive a sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory of a sin and death. In the Eucharist, Fujian shared in the mystery of the Passion, Death and Resurrection of Jesus Christ. May he now share in the internal banquet. Fujin celebrated the sacrament of the church. May Jesus, the high priest, receive him and have mercy on him. Fujin committed his life and observed the constitution of the apostle Jesus. May the Lord grant him pardon where he failed to leave it to the, to the full. May we rise. The grace of Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And now, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God that I have regretted in my heart, in my heart. In what I've done, in what I've said, through my fault, uh, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask this, my dear Father, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
we pray, O Lord, that the souls of fathers, soldiers, and Father Nicholas, your servants and priests, whom we honor and the sacred office, while they live in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. Lord Jesus, your Son, who lives and lives with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of Job. Job answered, Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and lead they were graven in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives and at last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side. And my eyes shall behold and not another. The word of the Lord. Our response, the Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. We will sing. is compassionate and gracious. The Lord 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 is compassionate and gracious, slow to hunger and rich in mercy. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. The Lord is compassion on his children. The Lord is compassion is on those who fear him, for he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are the last. The Lord is Like 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brethren, our commonwealth is in heaven, and from it we await our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power which enables him, even to subject all things to himself. The word of the Lord. O blessed of my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. According to John. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. 
For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that has given me, but raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good, and all the time, first on the behalf of the Archdiocese, the lobby, special from the Archbishop, I'd like to give special condolences to the community of Apostles of Jesus, and the relatives of Father Fujins, and also today at the same time. Father Nicholas, uh, that uh, the diocese of Nairobi tells the lobbies uh, with you. So just me, that was this morning I was the Archbishop Philip Agnolo, and uh, he asked me to give his condolences and that of the archdiocese, especially to, to the to the parent, to the relatives of Father Father Fuji. Why? Because death is a threat to human life. It is not easy to part with a person that you have been together, the person that you know, you have been relating, and yet at once you depart. It is not, it is not easy. And uh, we know that uh, People go for long journeys, even go to the moon, and they come back. But nobody has gone the journey of death and came back. And that's why, facing with the death, we are sorrowful and uh, we mourn. But then, there's no another way for entering the eternal life it's just through death. And death is a fact for all of us. There was this uh, saint, uh, uh, Bishop Palomino. Palomino was living around it in the century. And when he was living, he started thinking about death. He was started picturing the meaning of death. Therefore, he said he would like somebody, an artist, to draw for him a picture of death. What does he look like? So after going around, this man came and said, I'm going to draw you, to draw for you a picture of death. So he drew a, a big man, a fat man, with beards, and then with a, a panga, a cat, with grass cutters in his hands. And then he went to the saint, Palomino, and told him, this is the picture of death. And then the saint told him, no, 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 why did you put this, this cutter? panga in his hand. And then he said, because 
dead cat as from life. I said, no, can you remove this? And instead, you put a golden key. Because dead opens the door to eternal life. And the saint said, this is the way I would like to understand the meaning of death. That death opens the door of eternal life. If you read the, the Gospel of Luke, especially starting from the baptism of John, St. Luke portrays Jesus on a journey. A journey from Galilee going towards Jerusalem. And on this journey, Jesus was teaching and instructing his disciples. And uh, some of the instructions that he was giving is humility, who should be the greatest, is the one who serves. He was predicting also his passion, that the Son of Man, Jesus himself, is on the way to Jerusalem, where he will be rejected, beaten, and crucified. And of course, the disciples did not want to understand to understand to, 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 to that way of life. And you remember when even they were doubting whether did he, this man is serious, what he's saying, where he's, whether he's the one. And they were doubting about the cross. They didn't want to. They don't want to 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 know about the cross. So you know there was that transfiguration where Jesus was transformed and he gave him gave them the idea of heaven. So the point is that was the journey and uh, we know the miracles. He was rejected. Also he suffered another way. And the climax was the cross. He died on the cross. But then that was not the end. The, 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 the Jews, those who crucified them, crucified him. That night when they crucified him, they are very happy. They have done away with him. But what happened? There was a resurrection. And that was the, the resurrection. And I think the life of a Christian is that way it is. It's a journey. It's a movement from Galilee to Jerusalem, that we are going to answer the cross. The, but the cross is not the end. There is also the resurrection. So there is death and the, the resurrection. And uh, today, one of the readings, the first reading of the, of the, the reading of the day, was comparing death to the Romans was comparing Jesus and Adam. That sin came into the world through one man, through Adam. And from that time, each and every person was affected by that, by, 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 by that sin. That from that time, it became very difficult for a, 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 a human being to come out from that solidarity of sin because we are affected. But then St. Paul says, no, that's not enough. To come out of that, since we could not bring out that to ourselves, then Jesus came, Jesus was sent by God the Father to bring us, up, to bring us out from that solidarity of sin, so that united with him, then we become the children of God. It means, on our way from Galilee, of this life, to Jerusalem, to be able to follow that way, then we need to be united with Jesus Christ. Without his grace, without his help, we cannot leave, even live as Christians. 
human being cannot save himself because life is that struggle between evil and good. Unless we have that life of Jesus, then we can, human being cannot save himself. That's why we experience in the families issues and we try to sort them out. We are not able to, over, to overcome them. Not only the family, but even in our church. I mean, to give an example, if somebody's caught up, and that, if that does not happen here, in some like alcoholic, to come out of that, one is the graces of God. To overcome the temptations. Then we need, cannot do that on our own. We need the grace of God. You remember the very temptation of Jesus, which we have even today, we have those temptations. To overcome that, we need the, the graces of God. For the journey from Galilee to Jerusalem to the cross, to go through that journey is not easy. We need the graces from God. And our two priests, Fulgens and Nicholas, they were priests. It's not easy. The life of a priest is not easy. Sometimes the reality think that we are living a very, you know, a very easy life. It is not. Of course, we are not. Also, we are not living easy life. Married life is not easy. Equally, yeah? so it's not easy. You need the graces of God. So, for the Fijians for Nicholas, they followed that route. And uh, within that, in this life, each one of us, within that journey, is given a responsibility. Just as Jesus was given a responsibility, doing the will of God. And it is the gospel he says, I came to do the will of the one who sent me, the will of God. So each one of us, we are given a responsibility, a duty by God. And when that duty and responsibility is fulfilled, is finished, then the one who has given us that work, then will call us home for eternal life. And that may most of the time require to be crucified like Jesus. As St. Paul is very clear, it's because we have died with Christ, then we shall rise with him. And then, the work that we are given, that duty as we, on our way to uh, Jerusalem, it does not depend on years. It depends on our commitment, our faithfulness, and when it's finished, then we are called home. Today, the work of Father Fujins, the work of Father Nicholas, has come to an end. It's just because the work they were given by God has come to an end. Yours will come to an end also, and mine. When? We do not know. But, it, but, but definitely, <laughs> you are sure. You are not a permanent resident in this life. Nobody is permanent here. So, that work will come to an end when, in what way, that's left to our person, the one who has given us the work to do. So the issue is not the years, the time. But the issue is our faithfulness to our responsibilities. Again, the gospel of today's uh, mass was waiting. Keep watch because your master will come at any time. When? At any time. So, the work of our two fathers come to an end. As they have reached Jerusalem, 
crucified the Christ, and now they are enjoying the eternal life. When they were born, when a child is born, the first thing is to cry. Mamas wanajua hivyo, pengine sisters hawezi jua, lakini when a child is born, the child is cry. Crying, asking his or herself, why did I come to this world? At the same time, the parents and the people around, do they cry? Uh, they start to be enjoying themselves because a child has been born. He, the, the child is crying and they are uh, celebrating. Very strange, yeah? But then, at the end of life, when that child enters internal life, there is, it becomes the other way around. Being committed, living faithfully, he, they are born now, internal life, and they are not crying there now. They are happy, they are enjoying. Who is crying? Who is sorrowful? It is we now. It is other around now. So let us pray for our two priests. That they, they are being called home. They are being called home by Christ for whom they were serving, receiving the Eucharist, is the one who called them home. And let that our prayers may help them also to enter into eternity. And once they are there, they can also intercede for us. So in brief, can, uh, I think now we can say we can send Father Fujis now to God. Can I send the work, him on your behalf? Yes, so we have Father Fujins, and me in heaven you can see us now. Eh? And while you are there, when our judgment, our files are taken to the court of heaven, and you are there, just do this. Do what you normally do here. You go and take those files, keep them aside. As we do in our, in our court, we hide the files. So that uh, when our time comes, then our fire will not be seen, so that we can stay a bit longer eh? and continue serving, because still we have work to do. I have work to do myself. Eh? <laughs> so so you, you make sure that you, you organize there, because you know us. Eh? so that we have time now, so that tomorrow we don't have that to mourn for another one. Eh? So I'm sure you are going to, now he's going to do that. Eh? So now we don't have to worry now, because he knows us, that's why we are here, and he's going to help us. That, but let us pray for him now, so that he also can enter the eternal life and also assist us. God is good, and all the time. reflect on those words shortly after which we shall have general intercession.
brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the, the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Father Fulgens received the light of Christ, scatter the darkness now, and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Our brother, Father Fulgens, was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Our brother, Father Fulgens, spent his life following Jesus, poor, chaste, and obedient. Count him among all holy men who sing in your courts. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Our brother, Father Fulgens, shared in the priesthood of Jesus Christ, leading God's people in prayer and worship. Bring him into your presence, where he will take his place in the heavenly liturgy. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. The family and friends of Father Fulgens seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubts that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother, Father Fulgens. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. Hail Mary. Lord, Christ, Lord, Christ. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Holy Mary, my God. Pray for us sinners. Now and Lord God, give of peace and healer of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Now follows the offertory.
Abraham has started, my sacrifice may be accepted of God Almighty Father. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, Fugens and Nicholas, your servants and the priests, may behold with the, with the clarity forever what they faithfully ministered here through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks, the Lord our God. Is right and just. Still, I just our duty and our salvation always and want to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying, as one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with the acquires of angels, we praise you, and with the joy we proclaim. gives you praise for through your son Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit you give us all things and make them holy and you never scatter for to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to his setting a pure sacrament may be offered to your name therefore Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy this gift of God to you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when his supper was added, he took the chalice and gave him thanks, he said blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as a memorial of the death of saving passion of your son, is one of the resurrection and ascension to heaven. And as we look forward for his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the ablution of your church, 
and recognize the sacrifice of victim by whose death you will to cancer to yourself, grant that you are nourished by the body and blood of your son, and the filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for, unfa for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we prolong advance the peace and salvation over the world, the priest to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Lord Bishop Philip Kamau, our Philip Agnoro, our Bishop and his auxiliary Bishop Kamau, the other bishops or the clergy and the entire people you reign it for your own. Listen graciously to the people, prayers of this family, whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O Master Father, so that yourself or your children scattered throughout all the world. Our departed brothers, remember your servant, Father Frugiens, Yarugawa, and Father Nicholas Kunde, whom you've called from this life to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lonely body after the pattern of his own gracious body, our departed brothers and sisters, who and if all who are pleasing to you as we are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, whom you bestow from this word, for that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And as it is command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to see our Father. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Therefore, Lord, we pray from every evil. Great shall grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all stress. The blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, the Apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious grant our peace into accordance to our will, who live and live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now it has of each other the sign of peace.
to the whole Lamb of God, we are so blessed in the world. Blessed are those called the sap of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that tell my loose, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
a short moment of reflection after which we shall have post communion prayer. Having received the sacrament of salvation, employ your kindness, O God, for fathers, for James and Nicholas, your servants and priests, that as you made them stewards of your mysteries on earth, so may you bring them to the to be nourished by their truth and by their truth and reality as and fellows in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Take our seats. Now we have the moment for the final tribute. That means short speeches. And the following will give short speeches. First, we shall get a speech from the family representative. Yeah, family representative. And then from there, we shall, the Institute of the Apostles of Jesus will be represented for, by our Pontifical Commissary, Father Betelli. He will give speech, after which we shall have a vote of thanks from the Kenya Regional Superior of the Apostles of Jesus. After that, we shall invite the main celebrant, His Lordship, to, to give a word, if he asks, then final uh, commendations of family members. Only Your Lordship, Your Lordship, Right Reverend David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop of Nairobi, Archdiocese, the point for the Ponti Fico Commissary of Apostles of Jesus Missionary Institute. Members of the Commissariat, Regional Superior, Kenya, Members of St. Joseph Divine Providence House, Members of the Scholastic, Scholastic, Scholastic 
religious men and women, Christians of the shrine, relatives, friends of the late Father Frigian Sibiarugawa. Before I give our speech, I would like to introduce a group before you here, which comprises the following. The late Father Biarugawa was born with six siblings, including himself, much as he's, he's gone. Can you move forward at least? <clears throat> they are able to see you, the siblings, first. The siblings here, we have three. Another one was unable to come. And uh, as we talk, even the death of his, of her brother, we haven't communicated that message because she's not all so well. We feel that at least to see her through for another day, we say let us first bury Reverend and then we shall just break the news to her at a later stage. So we need your prayers to pray for the sister of the lady. We have the nephews who have been calling Reverend as uncle. There are many, but at least we were able to, to have these ones to represent the rest. Then we have our relatives, some staying in Kenya here, both from maternal and paternal sides of the lady. And the one speaking happened to be the in-law of late father Jarugaba. And my sister, you can step forward. My wife, rather. That's my wife. That's how we have come. Members, when you don't see, when you don't hear the voice coming out properly, you know what it means. Sometimes I'm a person who could talk, and you see the roof falling, but today I'm weak. I will I'll be talking with a hoarse voice, not as usual. But God willing, when I come back next time, you will hear properly my voice. On the 17th, October 23, as a family, we were saddened and shocked by the passing on of Father Frigian Sugiargawa. Much as we knew, he was sick. Uh, being sick, people of, people of God, does not qualify you to die. It's not a passport that when you are sick, you have to die. That's why we got shocked much as he was sick. But as believers, we believe that uh, everybody has his day or her day. So I think it was time for Father Virgins to leave this world. Uh, when we got the news, And we were shocked. We could not know what was going on until we gathered ourselves together. The next thing we would say, how can we join the rest to make sure that at least we are able to bury Father Yarugawa. We come from a village 
next to the border of DRC. The last, actually the last district called Kanongo. That's where we come from. So the journey from Kanongo to Nairobi, you, you can't call it as if you are from Langata to Nairobi in town. It's a journey for sure, which you have to sit and properly plan for, if you have to have it. So we, go, we gathered ourselves the way we are, and we made sure that we are able to join the rest of the community, uh, send off our beloved father. And God was with us, much as we had some hiccups here and there on the way. The vehicle were traveling in, it got a mechanical problem, we had just slip on the border, and we had just resume our journey. So from our place up to here, if you are to get here, you have to take three days moving without sleeping. But we thank God we were able to make it to be here. And we witness ourselves. It could be bad. Say, Father Frigens died and nobody could surface. Nobody even could tell that he has died. But at least we as we are here, we shall tell those who have left at home that it is true Father Frigens died and was decently buried. Father Biarga Frigens was born like any other child. Grew up with passion of liking to serve in the church, like his late biological father, who was a church catechist. He joined the Congregation of Apostles of Jesus to fulfill his dream to the fullest, as has been read out earlier by Reverend Father. Father Frugins loved his parents. I could not hardly spend a year without coming to check on, on them. As a family, when our parents died, that Father Frugins took over as a family head to continue with what his parents had not accomplished. Father Frigens has been a strong pillar to our family and relatives. Even his nephews. And he could do whatever it takes to look after us both spiritually, morally, and materially. He offered counselorship to most families which has disintegrated and come together again. What a great loss to the family. The congregation has been serving and the site at large. We shall miss his attributes as mentioned above. Father Frigens has run his race, fought a good fight, and going to be with the Lord. Members, what I have observed, death is a unique thing. Death is not negotiable. If I was to ask, Or say this is here and it, it wants to take somebody among us. Stars.
ati mastaki meaning we must get prepared and when god calls we shall live but sister or relative you never came as a relative what's wrong eh? is sister wrong or sister or relative sister please join us Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we request you to join us in prayer that if there is anything wrong which escaped Father Frugens in line of the discharging his duties, God, good Lord, to exercise mercy and forgive him and rest the soul of the deceased in eternal life. Appreciation. The Congregation of Apostles of Jesus, led by the Bishop, for all the support you gave Father Frugency when he was still alive. To all priests who have lived with Father Frugency, particularly Father Peter, Mayenza, and Father Richard, who did everything beyond their capacity to make sure that Father Frugency lives a better life. We appreciate the medical team which includes the doctors and nurses and the physiotherapists who could work on the father and was still alive. We thank the nurses, special thanks go to nurses like Sir Adam, Adams and Martin for the much of the time you put in to make sure that you look after our Reverend Father. Brother Mugabe, thanks for what you did and what you are still doing. Seminarians, for the support and prayers. In this regard, I thank the seminarians from our region. By the time they knew that we are around, they had to come and support us spiritually. And another thing, thank you so much for supporting us. And thank you for being good ambassadors. May you live actually to continue uh, showing that good heart to any other person who is in need. On this note, people of God, allow me to thank the nephew of the late who has been there most of the time whenever there is a need for assistance in terms of actually helping late is the only boy we could send. Now you go and make sure that at least you are with the Father. Come, Mr. Dismas. Come forward. Has helped us a lot. He's coming around KK. We thank you so much. I think as a family, at a certain time, we shall just thank you more. We'd like to thank the community Father has been living with and praying with always and whenever they could, they could come see him. We thank family, friends, relatives, and all who contribute in one or the other save the life of Father Frigens. May the soul of Father Frigens, Yarogawa, rest in peace. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Father Bethany. Mungu ni Uruma, kila wakati, all protocol observed. I wish uh, on behalf of the Pontifical Commissariat, first of all, to express uh, our gratitude 
uh, of the commissariat and all uh, the family of the apostles of Jesus uh, to your lordship, uh, Bishop Kamau, for uh, being uh, always uh, available for us and for uh, accompanying uh, our family even in these moments. Uh, he has been uh, showing a particular kindness in uh, uh, mentioning together Father Fulgens uh, and Father Nicholas Kundi, whose uh, funeral is celebrated uh, in this time, in these moments in Arusha. We also, I also want, wish to express uh, our gratitude to all those who have been uh, coming and all those who are present to show the love and the affection of a family to our dearest uh, Father Fulgens. Thank you, Fathers. Thank you, Seminarians. Thank you in a special way for those, to those who have come from uh, Uganda. Father Moka, thank you very much. Father Safari, thank you very much. Thank you to the confers and all those who are uh, uh, giving Father uh, Fulgens the tribute uh, of the love and the belonging to the same family. I also wish to express our gratitude to the family, to Mazoldi and Marengodi family. I can see sisters and other members of the family to be in great number here. This is uh, already a great uh, sign of affection and the beginning of consolation. May the Lord bless each one of you. Thank you, Deacon Urbanus, to be with us. And thank you to all of us, uh, to all of you, for your prayers. I wish to congratulate those who have chosen the book of Job for the first reading. After serving uh, the congregation and the church uh, in uh, many offices, Father Fulgens was given the mission to accompany sick people for many years uh, in the St. Mary Hospital. And finally, to be associated to Jesus uh, in bearing sufferings like uh, Jesus Christ crucified. For sure, the words we heard, uh, I can see my Redeemer, my Redeemer is alive, are the words that uh, Father Fulgens uh, was able to pronounce soon after seeing Lord Jesus Christ uh, just waiting for him and opening for him the gate of the communion with God, uh, whom Father served and loved for so many years. I would have also suggested a second reading, the second reading to be taken from the letter to the Hebrews. Though a son, he was made perfect through the sufferings he endured. And for sure, Father Fugens, uh, has been called to inspire the congregation through the sufferings that uh, in the last uh, part of his life he had to endure. Now, as uh, Buana, I forgot your name, the
Mary was son whom he worked with in the archdiocese when he was in the hospital. May God bless you and continue to bless you and give you strength and courage as you shepherd the people in this archdiocese of Nairobi. Thank you so much. I thank our Pontifical Commissary for making this possible for us to organize this ceremony of escorting our brother to his lasting rest. Thank you so much for Abitiri with your team, Sister Jacinda Opondo. I think it's good we recognize you. She's sitting somewhere there. Thank you, Sister, for being with us. And Sister Virginia, who is not here but is with us in prayer and send her condolences. Thank you. Father Betelli and the entire commissariat. I would like to thank my brothers, the Apostles of Jesus, the clergy who have joined us. Many times you encountered with our two brothers, Father Fulgens and Father Nicholas. So therefore I thank you so much. And I thank my the sisters, the religious brothers and sisters who are in prayer with us. Thank you for coming with your committees. Thank you for coming. I know the some of you, the sisters of the evangelized sisters of Mary, the sisters of evangelization, you are always close to us. And others who have come here, the sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, thank you for coming. And the entire family of Mazol and Marangoni for your encouragement. I'd like to thank the relatives who have traveled despite all the challenges you have in the, in the, on the way. Thank you for coming and thank you for being with him on the behalf of the parents who brought him the faith, who brought him so in the formation. Thank you for that on behalf of their parents for coming here. We wish you a safe journey as you go back, continue praying for him. In a special way, I want to thank the community of St. Joseph, whom Father has been there for the last, say, three, two and a half years. Father Dr. Richard Kizeo, who is a medical doctor, has journeyed with him and his colleague, Father Eladius Ngoi, who is representing uh, us in Tanzania for the burial of Father Nicholas. Thank you, fathers, for helping and supporting our brother. Secondly, the nurses, they have done a lot and always with him, whatever he needs medically, physically, psychologically, they are always there, accompanying him wherever he goes. Mr. Martin and Mr. Adams, thank you so much for your charity for our brother. I know you are still with us and there's still our brother who is helpless and you are there like his parent. So may God bless your work and bless you so much. Those who helped him physically to nourish his body with physical food. We have uh, the cooks. I thank you for you for giving him strength in the physical body. And those who wash him, this of Joseph, and the brothers, brother Robert and William, I thank you very much on behalf of the family of the apostles of Jesus in Kenya and the entire congregation. And the fellow committee who prepared the sitting. And 
the commissariate in the person of Father Peter Mainza. We always mention him. Some of you may not know him. He is somewhere there. Can you wave to the people and we thank, thank you for facilitating everything for our brother. That is Father Peter Mainza. Thank you for that, that service to the, our brother. And I thank the student committees, the circle body who are present here, who has prepared us this liturgy lively. Thank you. The scholastic in the philosophy students, thank you so much. And your formators who made you have this preparation done well. And we still continue after here. Thank you. And the Christians of represented here of the Shrine community. We thank the fathers who has given us space for being here. Father Otto, Father Damien, and other colleagues. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to celebrate our brother's life in this holy church. And all those who supported the Apostle Jesus in St. Joseph community. Weekly, many of you come to visit them. Many of you come to console them until this last day. Thank you for your coming always. And we have our team here of the communication for taking us to the rest of the people who are not with us. The the cameraman, thank you for being here and taking us in the world. Uh, I want to convey to you the condolences from various uh, people, especially the bishops, where we work. They send us the condolences for our brother, for the Fulgens, beginning with the one who is with us, Bishop David Kamau, Thank you for consoling us and take our greetings to his grace. We received his condolences. And the other bishops where we work, thank you so much, bishops who are absent here. And all those who have given us condolences, our brothers, Apostle Jesus, and the other priests who know us, thank you so much. Thank you, sisters, thank you, brothers, who send us condolences to encourage us in this moment when we lost our brother. Father Fulgens and Father Nicholas, they were classmates. And it is a mystery. They sat together in a class and today they are laid to rest together. Father Nicholas was ordained on 3rd of July 1988 and Father Fulgens was ordained on the 4th December 1988 so their death came mysteriously A difference of two days on the 15th we had of Father Nicholas and 17th we had our brother here with us so God loved them and they loved themselves. That's why they are going to be laid together. So they laid him together with the purpose that these men, these two priests, were classmates. They were together. There was something common they were sharing. So this is a mystery for us. And we thank God for their life, what they have done to, he has done to them. May they rest in eternal peace. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let a perpetual life stand upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May God bless you all. Thank you very much, Father. Uh, before I invite His Lordship, let me just make this comment um, that um, after we are done here, we shall proceed to the cemetery. It is in this side. Uh, this, we follow this path. It is not far from here. 
and normally we go ahead of the body so that we can receive the body. So after this we shall ask that we proceed. The priest will come behind um, the family members together with the body uh, and the, the choir will be ahead and we all of us will be ahead to go to the cemetery, take our place to receive the body. And then after that, after the, the, the funeral there, we shall have also refreshments. So thank you very much for coming. Now I invite his lordship to, if I say what to give us, then he will give us, then he will have commendation. After that he will bless us. Your lordship. That is commendation. Trust in the Lord, we have prayed together for Father Fujis, and now we come to the last step. There is sadness in fighting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Fujin again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will dispense in solo, the mass of God will gather us together again in the, in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Our Father, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Father of Mercies, we commend our brother who in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, we will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon virgins in this life. They are signs to us, to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in, in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain. Remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brothers forever and ever. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest.
Lord be with you. And now may your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to sit to love and serve the Lord, the mercy said it.
Sana nisikuwe ka shortika mwaja hapa Yusina presha
the first from, from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day.
You are the dust, and to dust you return. But the Lord will raise you on the last day. Now it is time for putting the soil. We all have family members come close. And the members of the commissariat is come here. And then my daughter, my daughter, family. And all of us is when you come to some place. Oh, 
mtakatifu mama wa mkombozi tunaliyasikia tunalalamika maombi yetu mama uyasikilize na uyafikishe kwa mwana wa Yesu tafalie tunifu moto kuna sidi mama tusiye kuku mawimini makali ndoro kwangu wakali tunaishi wangu mama maria maria mtakatifu mama wa mkombozi tunaliyasikia tunalalamika Maombi yetu mama uyasikilize na uyasikishe kwa mwana wa Yesu Maria mtakatifu mama wa mkombozi tunaliyasikia tunalalamika Maombi yetu mama uyasikilize na uya
then all of us can now come and place the flowers we have in the form of we, we surround the grave around. Please come.
I thank you so much for uh, joining us in accompanying our brother to the final rest. So now, as we have finished this, we have some refreshments, at least to make us go, so that we may be able to go with some energy. So behind that building there, that is called the library, so we just proceed there in front of that library, we have refreshments. And for that, I ask for the safari to bless them. In memory of this day, and in the honor of our departed brother, Fulgens, let us ask for God's blessing to bless us and bless what we are going to take. Bless us, O Lord, and bless us for your goodness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the faithful departed through the mass of God rest in peace. Amen. Go in the peace of the Lord. So we keep on uh, uh, praying for our brother and all the brothers who are in so that they may rest in peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.